I can be on my own. I know that. I'll do that. Somehow it is not really happening. And then comes the regulators. Historically, regulators in this country, possibly because most of us were born in what is called a rationing economy. Because the only thing which I remember, my students keep asking me, sir, you know, share some great moments of your college life. I said, well, let me not share. Because the only thing which I remember of my college days is that I will stand in the queue for milk, I will stand in the queue for rice, I will stand in the queue for kerosene, I will stand in the queue for railway ticket, I will stand in the queue for coffee seats. So we were a rationing generation. So because most of us are now occupying the post of uh, many of the AACD chairman, UGC chairman, etc., I think we seem to impose that. So what does it mean? Unless it is done small, quality will be affected. So what happens is, we always want to have 3 MBBS degree, 3 MB degree, 5 MTech degree, 7 PhD degrees, whereas the demand is for 7,000 or 70,000. Okay? We are just not willing to accept that scale is important and without compromising quality, one can scale. Unfortunately, it's a mindset problem and there are no easy silver line, one bullet, silver bullet for some of these things. I think you need to address them. There are people challenges. Even though technology is good, the technology scales, the technology is efficient, technology is inexpensive, technology is uh, reasonably uh, rugged, you still have to address the people challenge. Coming to the last part, okay. In spite of all the challenges, I'm excited. That's the reason why I agreed to come and give a talk. I do find people like Madan doing a great job, and I do want people like Padmanabhan leaving a very comfortable job selling the easiest product to sell on the world is called Microsoft Office to come to the e-learning is that the opportunity here is unprecedented. There's one point I want you to remember very specifically is that we seem to have a great winning combination and the window of next 10 years is golden for all of us sitting in this room. What is that? Indians have always been accepted as teachers. It, I'm not saying it because I am a teacher. Okay? You know, any part of the world you go, okay, let me start from Alaska. You know, if you go to Alaska and the moment they look at you and they can make you that you are likely to be an Indian, Pakistani, or Bangladeshi, they'll ask you. And then the moment you say it's an Indian, they will say, Are you a teacher? And you go to much of the United States or go to all the way to Argentina and Brazil. The chances are they will ask you, are you an IT guy or are you a teacher? Okay. If you go to African sub-Saharan countries, okay, if you are in India, you ought to be a teacher. And the good thing is, I think that's one place where you get the highest respect as a teacher. And if you go to much of Europe, you will find a significant number of Indians are teachers. And if you go to Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, you are accepted as a teacher. Okay. So that is a big win. 